Dire first up, or for the team too. On that team, we got us a Seawork in the back. Chilpos, I guess, going last with Faded hanging out, kind of waiting for his spot, as well as Chicago. Dire opening up versus Lucifer. Man, I mean, has got him some shield defenders playing the big crusade, kind of blinking all over the place. This is going to be poured out of Dire. And Lucifer goes in for the same shield defenders wall, everything available. Wants to see if he can maximize the damage, but that succubus slowing you down. You might get ahead of freedom as well as a pony in order to catch up to Daya. Otherwise, you're just going to take lots of big hits. All oh, these portals opening up. Succubus, see for just a second. You got some of the most amount of damage, the biggest haymaker possible. And so far, the only thing you've really been able to send it in on is just the succubus as it was able to completely control you, slow your whole uh, advance to a crawl, and make it much harder for you to maximize that go, which is why I think we've seen more paladin switch over to wings rather than big crusade go just the normal avenging wrath because it's just every minute having an effective go it's probably a little safer than just having like a two minutes of just absolute haymaker of a setup trying to see if he can get himself a bit of a go as lucifer got himself blessing a saint mortical barely sat on him got himself like i guess it's a hard waiting for you but he's just gonna keep sending judgments at you back to back at plenty of range it's gonna be big bonds of fell Together with the shield of Venice, Lucifer trying to see if he can use that shield just to hold off a little bit longer. Gateway's down, but Diabuckle's already used the gateway. Having to pop Wall here really early on for Lucifer. It's an opportunity to bubble or potentially use a Blessing of Spell Ward in order to give himself immunity to magic damage. Goes on laying heads really early on. Do you survive this for the next 30 seconds, though? That is my question. I don't know if you do. I don't know if you do, because right now Diabuckle just charges at you. He could get a setup on you. Trying to see if he can pull the pet back, immolate with a soul fire right after Fade is just trying to is Fade is just trying to get a good angle. I think Fade is just out here trying to get a better angle of what's happening. I don't really know what's going on. Hopefully he doesn't like get in between or anything like that. Lucifer, I think, at this point would have waited long enough in order to be able to get that full barons back up. So we'll have access to immunities for that bolt of cages charging in, able to sun the pet. But so far it's just been taking hits after hits, lick after lick. And Diet has been able to just range him this entire duel as the man trying to get himself a little bit extra survivability, but he's actually just left with no mana whatsoever. Shield of Venice available, big crusade wings, his final big go, maybe combines it together with immunity. So Diet better be very, very careful. Maybe reflect on that next stun. Does go for the trinket. Lucifer trying to get himself a bit of a setup. Daya porting out there. Does not have the gateway to combine anything here. Just kind of out in the open. If Lucifer goes, Lucifer goes for, he goes for a blessing of protection. Hold on a second. Lucifer did not press the right immunity. He got himself immunity to physical damage, which was good against the succubus. But right now, this man might be in a bit of trouble. He might be in a bit of a rough spot. He needed that magic immunity. Mortal right after. Just taking him out, vaporizing him right then and there. With top G, gonna be up next. That was a bit of a misplay. Uh, did he have bubble? He still had bubble, but I think he was maybe like excited. Maybe he got the wrong ability. Not the first time I've done it. I mean, when you just randomly throw a cloak on your rogue and you have meet your preservation. I've done it before. Daya just absolutely getting chopped up by top G. As soon as Daya walked in, he used everything there in that opener versus the uh versus the uh pally. But at the end of the day, just had no more ability. Top G just goes in. See if I try to see if we can watch out. Top G got him some big defensive, but I don't know if it'll be enough though. Still frozen. Took a pretty big hit, but lived it with that rage regeneration. At least got himself the water alien that he could bloodthirst off of. But having to walk through the fire and the flames and all the elements got him to reflect for that one frostbolt. But still down, just spiked down by those lances back to back by Seawark. Got him some big shit and power come back in little by little. Next up is a Rosie. Getting another chance. Last time we fought against Daya, did do pretty good. This time we fought against Seawark, who didn't commit too many cooldowns. Still has Ice Block, still has Cold Snap. Will not have his big burst combo anymore with a Water Alley. But better than nothing, as Rosie does get himself maybe a bit of a different position. I feel like for Seawark, he might just have to play into the Ring of Frost, Blizzard, Frozen Orb combo with Rosie. Might actually might just want to. If Rosie plays defensive, I think that'd be great for Seawork. Otherwise, Rosie could just run, run, and instant cast the guy the entire time. Dropping down Sky Fury with a breath to follow him. Ring of Frost right after. Trying to get the big combo. Rosie, does he have an interrupt? Does go for the kick, but it's still going to be Ray of Frost. Does end up getting knocked back out of Ray of Frost. Did not have the, uh, what is it, the Glacial Advance in order to keep us up moving, but Rosie is now stuck behind the pillar. Ring of Fire, Frozen Orb kind of inching over little by little. Blizzards, you are going to take the consistent damage, at least able to kind of heal himself 
and give himself a flow there a little by little. But those lances and the passive damage eventually, as we get into higher dampening, and we're on the, only at the 23% dampening mark, is eventually going to ramp up on you. Got him some big primordial. Perfect opportunity to lava burst. Just break it through the hell bar of Seavark. Taking a pretty big hits. Got himself Alter. Maybe can reverse some of the damage taken. Actually, quite a bit with a shield on top of it. Doing fine. Skyfair down for Rosie. Just needs a better angle versus Seavark. Maybe a good lasso if you ever get a blink out of the guy early. Ring of Frost. Does he himself the big setup? Do you have the knockback? Because you need a knockback right now. Big zaps. Got him some Ray. I think it's just over. Unless you got maybe think out all flurry. Oh my god. I think that was without Frozen Orb 2 or, or Frozen Bomb or anything. That was just a raw freeze the guy in place. Big spike, big ray, and just taking him out. Frost Mage one shot. Not a one shot, really. Because it's not literally in a single global, but like the, the combo? It is so good. Necro does get himself a better angle. Might want to go for Hunter's Mark onto Seavark, honestly. Dropping down traps in every direction. Seavark more or less knows that he's got to have a line inside of the guy. Shadow Meld. Oh. Hold on. Necro might just have to flare him down, right? You might just want to put a Hunter's Mark on the guy. Actually, you should put a Hunter's Mark on the guy. Just so because you, you do five percent more damage. Wait. Oh, Necro did not flare. He thinks that Seaver can visit. Oh no. <laughs> Wait, Seaver is actually fine. Hold on. He's just fine where he was. Hold on. Oh no. Blur Wally? Okay, he had to check. He had to check last spot. He saw him. It's like, wait, maybe he didn't visit. Maybe that is a proper shadow meld. Does proper defensive really early. Seaver taking that death shotgun back behind the pillow with him. And just using shields just to live it. Does have a full set of blizzards, maybe even a ring of fire. Yeah, Necro is just getting pincer back behind this pillar. There's only so much he can really do. He's trying to get himself a better angle. Bred by Seavark. If he goes in for a full freezing ring, he'll be golden. Seavark does get himself all the time. Maybe Necro can remove it. Got himself silenced. Seavark is feeling okay. He's getting low, but he's going to get all his health back in just a moment. As he does eat a tar trap right after. Necro trying to get himself a better angle. Actually, the rapid fires are doing quite a number of damage to Seavark. Not feeling that good. Trying to see if he can recover some cooldowns a little bit. And got himself actual proper invisible some around. Seal needs shields or two. Needs himself a good setup. Death Chakram. Ring of Frost. Does get himself a good go. Necro cannot really stop it. Let's see if I got himself the best setup. Full freeze. Necro might just go down. That's a bomb right afterwards. It's a lot of damage. Does he just go down? Lives the bomb barely. With an Exil rapid fire back into Seaver. Hold on. Wait a second. Seaver had to ice block it. Oh, hold on. Necro actually almost killed him. Hold on a second. If he wasn't lined inside and just kill shotted, that would have been might have been over. Seabrook does recover a lot of health with a frozen or fro uh ice block and just chipping away at health of Necro with a blizzard. Does not much he could do with the flurry lances taking him out. Bad bunny, last one over for the team one. Charging in. I think walking through a blizzard last second and Seabrook trying to see if he can back up out of there. Ring of frost on one side, blizzard on the other. Does not quite connect. Trying to keep bad bunny from picking up the eye. But unless you have a second block. Do you have a second block or was that it? I think you used both blocks there. I think this might be over. Full poisons of the sea bar. Got himself altar. No, not altar. At least shifting power. Maybe can get back altar. But he's taking a lot of the poison damage without really uh, taking the big death mark. Oh, he does have a block. That is still death mark available for a bad bunny. So Seavark now has to play around cloak, vanish, and just try to see if he can find a way to stay away from bad bunny. To never let him do a full death mark go. Ever. He needs to keep pressure on the rogue. Blizzard's around the corner. Needs to force him to vanish or cloak a shadow so you can catch a reset. Otherwise, there goes vanish. That's huge. If you drop down Blizzard, make it a little harder for him to reach you. Goes in for a garrote. Need to find a way to dip away from the guy. Does go for the freeze. Breath, cloak of shadows is perfect. Seaver just needs to find a way to live this, but he can maybe get himself a good go. Shrink is still available for the rogue. And he's still dotted, taking a lot of damage. Got himself images. Maybe he can go for shields. Maybe he can go for a uh, ring of frost uh, or uh, alter time. Maybe that can help. R trick it out of the rogue. Get a shot onto Seavark. Is able to get a freeze into Bad Bunny, doing a lot of damage. No way for the rogue to escape it. Hold on a second. Maybe it does reverse it. Ring of Fire has to walk through it. I think Bad Bunny's just done. Hold on a second. Got himself full pets and everything. Comet Storm down. Shift power for Silver. Just getting cooldowns back. And that pet is going to keep you in combat. Just dropping him with a orb as well as Blizzard. And I think he just left. That already died just now. That was incredible. That was a lot. Hold on a second. He lived it. I am actually surprised. Because the rogue... I mean, he got himself full death mark. I don't even know what kept you alive through that full death mark. I normally that's just where you melt. He had no ice block, no nothing. Maybe just a good all to time. Maybe just um, shields, like a shields, or maybe shifting power. I'm not even sure. But does end up going down either way, though.